Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create invoice in Zoho books from Google Sheets. I want that whenever a new row is added in my Google Sheets along with the details, automatically by using the same details, a sales invoice should be created in my Zoho books. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate both these applications and because they do not have any kind of native integration between them, therefore we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do? We have Google Sheets in our trigger and Zoho Books in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, automatically a sales invoice will be generated in Zoho Books. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically create a sales invoice in Zoho Books by using the details we have in our Google Sheet. Okay, so in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate Google Sheets with Zoho Books. And for that, I am going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach towards this homepage, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, so you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes. Also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Now because I am already an existing user therefore I am clicking on sign in. This is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow we are going to use Pabli connect so let's click on access now. And here this will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard we can find all of our workflows which we have created and we can also create multiple folders like this in order to save our workflows. So you can find that I have two folders here in this test integration folder I have saved a lot of workflows. So in the same manner you can create your own folders and you can save your workflows there in your folders. Okay. Okay. So in order to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that and a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so let us give it a name so I have given the name as create Zoho books invoice from Google Sheets automatically okay so after giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow so as I have selected the folder from the drop down as test integration I want to save this workflow in this particular folder now after this let's click on create so as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts or the basic principles on which the entire automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Now let's suppose in this workflow, we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and Zoho Books in our action. And we want that as soon as a new row will be added in our Google Sheets automatically by using the details of the same row, a new sales invoice should be generated for that particular customer. So here the trigger gives command and the action follows that same command. Okay, now after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we will select our trigger application which is Google Sheets. So let's select it. And now we have to select the trigger event. So the trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So I want that whenever a new row will be added in my spreadsheet, automatically the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and the workflow should trigger. Okay, so let's select the trigger event. And now we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webhook URL. And then I'm going to take you to the spreadsheet which I have created. So this is the spreadsheet named as Zoho Books and Voice. And I want that by using the details in this particular spreadsheet, automatically invoice should be generated in Zoho Books. Okay, for that we have to connect this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. And we are going to do that with the help of the webhook URL which is provided. Okay, so first of all we have to go on the extensions. And then we have to go on add-ons. When we will click on get add-ons. It is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. Okay. So basically we have to install Pabli Connect Webbooks. And as you can find that I have already installed it. So I will cross it. And now we will again go on extensions. Okay. So we can find that the option of Pabli Connect Webbooks is given over here. We have to select it and then we have to go on initial setup. 
ओके सो वी विल बी डूइंग इनिशियल सेटअप इन ऑर्डर टू कनेक्ट गूगल शीट्स विद पैब्लिक कनेक्ट फॉर दैट वी हैव टू एंटर द डिटेल्स इन दीज टू फील्ड्स फर्स्ट इज द वे बुक यू आर एल एंड द नेक्स्ट इज ट्रिगर कॉलम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द फील्ड ऑफ वे बुक यू आर एल वी हैव टू पेस द यू आर एल विच वी हैव कॉपीड फ्रॉम पैब्लिक कनेक्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट इज ट्रिगर कॉलम द ट्रिगर कॉलम इज द कॉलम विच इज गोइंग टू ट्रिगर द वर्क फ्लो सो वेन एवर द डेटा विल बी एंटर्ड अप टू ट्रिगर कॉलम द रिस्पॉन्स इज गोइंग टू बी कैप्चर्ड इन पैब्लिक कनेक्ट आफ्टर दैट ओनली ओके सो हियर अवर ट्रिगर कॉलम विल बी कॉलम जी एज द डेटा इज एडेड लास्ट इन कॉलम जी सो इन द स्ट्रेट शीट विच एवर कॉलम इज द लास्ट कॉलम इन विच द डेटा इज एडेड दैट विल बिकम अवर ट्रिगर कॉलम बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट दैट वेन एवर द डेटा विल बी एंटर्ड अप टिल कॉलम जी द रिस्पॉन्स शुड बी कैप्चर्ड देन ओनली इन पैब्लिक कनेक्ट ओके सो वी विल सिंपली टाइप कैपिटल जी हियर एंड देन वी विल क्लिक ऑन सेंड टेस्ट and here we can find that our test data has sent successfully now we will cross it and we will go back on public connect and here we can find that we have received the response so as soon as we have done the initial setup we have received the response over here now after receiving the response what our actual motive is our actual motive is to generate a sales invoice by using the same data which we have received from google sheets but i want to generate invoice for only the existing customers of zoho books okay so basically i want to generate the invoice only for the existing customers of zoho books okay for that we will have to do one thing we will have to search the user in zoho and if that particular person will be an existing customer then only i want that this workflow should continue so first of all let us search the user that if this particular customer exist in zoho books or not so we will select zoho book in our action application and now in the action event we will select get contact by email because i want to search this particular person through email okay let's click on connect and from the given options i am going to click on add new connection so that i could build a new connection with zoho books if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that after clicking on add new connection we have to click on connect with zoho books and here we have to enter the domain name so what is our domain and from where we are going to find that for that we have to go on our zoho books account and here we have to go on the top url so by looking towards the url we can find that this is the domain okay so zoho.in this is my domain i will simply copy it from here and i will paste it over here so in the same manner by looking towards your url of zoho books you have to find your domain name and then you have to paste it over here okay click on save and now public connect is asking us for the permission to access our zoho books account let's click on accept and our authorization is successful okay so because i was already logged into my zoho books account the authorization has become successful very easily so you also have to keep in mind always to keep log in to your applications before making up a connection with public connect okay now let's move on and here we have to enter the organization name which is already selected over here and then we have to enter the email of the person whom we want to search okay so i have received the email from google sheet response i am going to use the same response in order to map the data here so i'm going to map the email by using my previous step like this and here i can find the email is given over here so let's click on it and it is mapped now because i have mapped this data every time a new response will be captured from google sheets automatically this email is going to be replaced with with another email of another person okay but if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change with every new response then the workflow will get stuck okay so in order to automate the entire process without any manual step we use mapping okay now after mapping the email let's click on save and send test request and we have received the response here and the message is success and we have also received the contact id along with this response so that means this particular person exist in the form of a customer in zoho books and now because this person exist in zoho books i want to generate an invoice for this customer okay so by using this contact id which we have received from zoho books response we are going to generate invoice okay but before that because i want to set a condition over here for this workflow that only if the person will be an existing customer of zoho books then only i want to generate the invoices otherwise not so for that i am going to add one more action step here and here in the action application i am going to select filter so filter is a feature by pabli which allows us to set conditions for our workflows okay now here i want to set a condition that only this contact id which we have received from zoho books exist in our filter type i am going to select exist because i want that only if this particular contact id exist in zoho books then only the workflow should continue otherwise not so here in the place of label i have mapped the contact id which we have received from zoho books so that it could change with every new response okay now every time a new response will be captured then the id is going to be replaced with another id of a new person and if that particular id will exist in zoho books then only this workflow will continue otherwise not okay so here 
after selecting the condition, let's click on save and send test request. And here our condition is true and the status is success because this person already exists in Zoho Books. Okay, now let's move on and we are going to finally generate the invoice for this particular customer. So let's select Zoho Books again. And in the action event, we will select create sales invoice. Click on connect and we will go with the existing connection. So let's click on save. And with this, our Zoho Books account is again connected with Babli Connect. So let's move on. And here we can find that we have to enter a lot of details in order to generate the invoice. Customer ID, contact person ID, invoice number, invoice date, due date and etc. But before moving further, we can find that we have to enter the date of the invoice in this particular format that is year, month and date. But let us check whether we have received the date in the same format or not from Google Sheet response. But no, we have not received the date in the same format we have received the date in the date, month and year format. So in order to change the date, we have to format it by using date time formatter. So for that, we have to add one more action step in between, which is date time formatter. Okay, so here I'm going to select date time formatter, which is an amazing feature by Pabli, which allows us to format the date according to the workflow requirements. Okay, so here in the action event, we will select format date only as we only want to format the date. Click on connect and it is connected very easily. Now we have to enter the date which we want to format. So I want to format this particular date which we have received from Google Sheet response. So I have selected it and it is mapped. The next is from format. So in from format, we have to select the format of date in which we have received the response. Okay, so we have received the date in this particular format that is date, month and year. Okay, so I have selected it. And now in this two format, we have to select the format in which we want the actual date. So I want the date in this particular format that is year, month date I have selected it and now we will click on save and send test request so we have received the response and the date is in the correct format now we are going to use the same date in order to map the details over here first of all let us click on connect so that we can refresh the connection with Zoho books as we have added one more action step in between we will go with the existing connection only let's click on save and again our Zoho books account is connected with Pabli Connect. So now let us move on and here we have to enter the details. First of all it is asking us for the organization name which is already selected over here. The next is customer. So in the place of this customer I want to enter the customer ID which we have received from Zoho books in the earlier response. Okay. So we want that as soon as a new response will be captured in Pabli Connect through Google Sheets automatically this customer ID should change with that new response. And in order to do that we have to map the customer ID. But if we will select the name of the customer from this drop down, it will become static and it is not going to change. Therefore, in order to map the customer ID, we will simply click on this mapping button. And here, first of all, let me delete the existing ID. And now I'm going to map the customer ID which I have received from Zoho Books. Okay, so that it could change. So here, this is the contact ID which I have received. I have mapped it and now we will move on. And here the next is contact person ID. Some of the details are not mandatory over here. So I am ignoring them for now. If you want, you can definitely add them. I will directly move towards the invoice date. So here we have received the date in the correct format from date time formatter. We will simply map that date and done. So I do not want to enter due date. Now I am moving towards exchange rate as it is a mandatory field. Now here I am going to enter the default exchange rate which is 1. Okay. The, now the next is line item name. So we have to enter the name of the item which is purchased. So let us map it. And here the name of the item is this t-shirt and we have mapped it. Okay. If we want we can also add the description of the item in this field. And the next is the rate. So we have also received the amount. We have mapped it and the next is quantity. So let us map the quantity also. Done. Okay. Now I think this much detail is okay in order to generate the invoice. So I am simply going to click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response. The message is the invoice has been created. We have also received the invoice ID. Now let's go and check whether a new invoice is created in Zoho books or not. So this is the invoice section. Let us refresh this page once. And here we can find that this is the new invoice. Let's open it. And yes, an invoice is generated for t-shirt with the quantity as 1 and the rate as rupees 100. So because the invoice is generated, that means we have successfully 
created this workflow. Now we have to do one more thing. We will go back on our spreadsheet and again we have to go on extensions. And by going on Public Connect Webhooks, this time we have to click on this Send On Events. So by clicking on this event, we have made sure that whenever a new row will be added in this particular spreadsheet, automatically without any manual efforts, the response is going to be sent towards Public Connect. Okay, so this was the full workflow and these are the steps which we have to follow in order to create this workflow. Now this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the redpably.com. If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.